What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Blue Lock. Today we are doing episode six. This one is called I Am Sorry. I am very excited to continue our Blue Lock shenanigans. Hopefully you guys are excited as I am. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section, like always. Make sure you get, if you guys want to check out the full uncut versions, you guys check out that Patreon. Links are down below, like always. You guys can also get early access and uncuts to the other shows I'm watching. Let's hop right on into it. Blue Lock, episode six. Let's do it. Blue Lock, building five. Our next opponent is Team W. The Wanima brothers. Oh, Chigiri's eyes popped up for a second. I wonder why that is. Very curious. Okay, episode six. I'm sorry. Wow. What were the name of the twins in uh in Haikyuu? Was it Osam? No, that was hmm. The Mia? Mia twins, right? So this time... I like it. Ah, I like it. We'll call it Southern All-Stars. Okay. <laughs> he did take a long time to come up with that one. Ah! Yeah, that's just not a possibility. We need to win. We will win this. Building five, match seven. No hesitation. Get right onto it. We got the fucking Wanima brothers. Team W versus Team Z. Football, begin. <laughs> I I sir, so is one like not talkative. That's what my bro says. Okay, Mister, his guy speaks through his eyebrows. Apparently. Oh wow, the way they animated how just seamlessly they're just getting through them like it's nothing. So that's. The genius made of glass it has to do with his injury. And Chigiri eyes popped up when they mentioned the Wanima brothers. I hate hearing that. That's what my stop saying that's what my bro says. And you guys in the comments. You guys in the comments were letting me know a little bit more as well. Because I know, obviously, an injury is so serious. Especially one as bad as an ACL and stuff like that. And how it can jeopardize a player's career. Like their literal future. And it's not only necessarily the injury itself. It's the fear and the paranoia of the injury can be more encumbersome than the injury itself. Such as, we know Chigiri is healed into a spot where technically he can play. Again, he's playing right now, you know. But he is so worried rightfully so i'm not saying he's not in the right for that but he's so worried about his leg being injured again like they were just saying like be careful don't run again or you know because literally it's one small mistake and you're actually done it's it, it's such a different mindset going into this than just everyone else just thinking i need to do my best do everything i can like it's i get my man chigri i really do they're just really playing that up and i really like it like an injury is for real isagi stop that Okay, they didn't call it. But, but I know that we are strikers. You came to Blue Lock too. Regret, pain, all that stuff. One shot at goal. And it's all behind us. I love that. That was our first goal. Let's go. That was a great goal. You made it here, didn't you? That's what I'm saying. You came to the blue lock. You. <laughs> he really talks with his eyes. Made it a little higher emphasis that he, Kuan can make it. Great chest stop. I don't know what the terminology in football is. Going for the left handed banger kick. Ooh! That's two for two for Kuan, right? That's a good start. That's what I like to see. So 
So this is my first time seeing a... I don't know the details on free kicks and the rules and all that, you know? If you guys wouldn't mind giving me the details on things that I don't know, I'd appreciate that. I'm guessing they can't use their anything besides their bodies to try to block. Ooh. Who won again? Halftime through the match up 3-0. That is a great start. I'm loving it. I don't think it's going to be that easy, though. We're playing aggressive. We're getting stronger. The morale is up right now, except for Chigiri. I have a feeling he'll, you know, we're going to get some development for him soon. I got volumes one through three of the Blue Lock manga, and Chigiri is the cover of volume three, so it gets me excited. Okay, he's actually listening. Shouts out Raishi. Yeah, I'm distracted even for a little bit. The hesitation. This music is going ham. Even if it means borderline fouling them, they're ready for it this time. Chigiri is going to try, but not like crazy try. Not risk it, obviously. Yeah, doesn't want to risk that leg. So this is where they start to make a comeback. I just noticed, and I kind of like it. I don't know if it's an alligator or a dragon. I'd have to assume more of a dragon, more eastern influences than western i don't that sounds kind of stupid do they have alligators and crocodiles but uh i love how the older brother or the one that has the dragon alligator crocodile eyebrows the other brother has that design like in his in the fade of his hair i kind of like that i don't know what the, that means but i like the green i like their little duo combo and it's under hit immediately for a steal that was an accident from Kuan. That careless mistake is going to be fatal instantly into another goal. Now it's 2 3. So Kuan gave up the ball on, the fir on their first score, and then he asked. Yeah, it was an accident. Like, even though technically it's your fault, we're not going to like blame you. You know, that was in the past. We move on. These are the two differentiating styles of teammates right here, you know? I know people in both styles. Wait, what? Why is he making that face if he's apologetic? Is he throwing our fucking game? No, I, no, I don't think you did. Okay, Bachira, Isagi, Kunigami. My trio together. I love this combo. Some strong passing, strong all in all and some a strong offense this is like uh tanjiro when he can't see that thread you know and that's the thing it works on he's like i can't see an opening what do i do and then he gets stolen nah nah i'm i'm with isuki like if that is actually true i'm so pissed Yemon with the defense. He's trying. God damn it. I don't want to pause it again. You guys know me. But the only thing I can think of in terms of why Kuon would throw is that he made a deal with these brothers. And we know that even if your team loses, the strikers or the best scorers themselves of the team moves on, stays. So could they have allowed him to score these three goals? Like, I'll give you guys my team's info. We'll lose. But make me at least be able to stay confirmed. Like, but then... Ah, why? I was liking Kuon. I don't want to think Kuon's doing this, but... When they... I love when they animate shit like that. Bingo. That's when he stayed too long during his bath. Yeah, I'm pissed. Normally, I'm not I'm like Raichi. You can't be that aggressive, but I'm like I'm on Raichi's team right now. It's like Squid Games, you know. You'll see betrayals and shit like that all over Squid Game because it's it's in your own self interest. He has scored three goals. He's the top scorer. Oh, that talk about a face! Oh my god, the way they use the heavy dark lines. I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. 
Yeah, are you? This music in this show goes stupid, though. That is a great question. I would like to see some development in how they are going to handle this situation. <sighs> I mean, I understand why he's doing it, but I still don't like it. You know, I still don't like it. I disagree. Fuck, and it makes me mad. And now, because of that, it's time for us to whoop your ass. You've unlocked a whole different beast in us now. See, that's what I'm saying. In terms of self-interest, in terms of the goal of the spot, he's doing it right, you know? But still, it pisses me off. And that's why we have to beat you. We need Chigiri. Chigiri has to do something. Oh my god. Oh, fuck, man. Cool on. I liked you. Talk about a twist, but as soon as the first episode happened and they made it clear that this wasn't going to be your typical teamwork bonding style organization, I knew things like this were going to happen. That's why I started calling it the Squid Games of football, you know, because betrayals, backstabs, whatever it may be, you're all that's involved is your self-interest and where it's going to take you because at the end of the day even if there's temporary alliances bonds made friendships formed only one person can come out of the blue lock the striker for the national team so there's not a fucking chance that this is not gonna be more of this i knew this would happen i just was not expecting it to be one this early and two kuon man if anyone i would expect like a a raichi but he's too He's too brazen and proud of himself that he would never back. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get, I can't say Raichi would do it, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. Like, man, this is, this is a good little twist. Shouts out Kuon. Shouts out the Wanami, the Wanima brothers. Sorry for that. Um, I like their designs a lot. They're super rambunctious smiles, the freaking dragon crocodile design and their freaking everything. That's so sick. But, uh, I need my squad to come together in a 12 V 10. We're down two members. To step up and do this my boy ego is watching i don't know this is gonna be crazy i have a feeling chigari is gonna pull something amazing i cannot wait he's gonna have some great character development hopefully you guys are excited as i am if you are please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel if you guys want to see the full uncut version check out that patreon links are down below like always don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad Peace out.